So we're about to go dive at this beach and do a photo shoot. But look at that. I already found treasure. Boom. I got a nickel, baby. So like I was saying, Brittany and I are doing a photo shoot for our biodegradable hair ties. We call them surf rags. I brought my camera in my underwater housing. But before we get too into the photo shoot, I got to pick up some trash. I found the bottom of a soda can. And then Britt found the top of a soda can. Then she found a fishing weight. And I traded her the camera for the fishing weight. Okay, but seriously, she dove to the bottom and grabbed some sand. And I think these photos of her swimming up with the sand are gonna turn out so nice. We had to go to another spot because we found that it had clearer water and now we're really taking some bangers. Then I found this plastic trash bag and it's too bad that this bag isn't biodegradable like our hair ties. Underwater photos don't always turn out the way that you expect so we always do the same thing over and over to make sure that it turns out. So Brittany and I are doing a photo shoot for our biodegradable hair tie company Surf Rides. We're gonna get some really good photos but first I found this string attached to the coral so I pulled it off and and then I found an actual rag stuck to the coral. How did that get here? Nearby, I found this mysterious hole that I wanted to swim through. Oh, Brittany, not a hole like that. Come on. Get your mind out of the chum bucket. Then I found this teeny tiny piece of string. And Brittany blew this epic bubble ring. Oh, that's gonna be such a good shot for the hair ties. After I got that shot, I looked down and I saw these goggles stuck to the coral. And as you can clearly see, you cannot see clearly through these goggles anymore. Then I found this little piece of plastic and Britt and I are gonna keep on shooting. So I was out playing in the sand the other day, underwater, of course. And then Britt came up to me with this piece of black plastic. I think it came from a trash bag. Then I found this piece of net stuck to a coral head and I very carefully unraveled each piece of it to get it off of the coral. The coral is looking pretty dead here and part of the reason why it died could have been from this net. I'm not sure if it'll recover after I remove it, but it's still the right thing to do. I keep a bag with me and I put that net in the bag so I can throw it away properly later. Then I saw this little piece of yellow sticking up out of the sand and I had no idea what it could be. I started to pull on it and it felt rubbery and I thought maybe it could be a frisbee, but then as I pulled harder on it, it revealed to be a swim fin. How did that get completely buried like that? Then I found this thing that I thought was a piece of plastic, but it was actually a piece of wood. Then I found these sunglasses and I don't think that they're going to work very well anymore. And I saw this turtle that looked like he was a little bit stressed out. I got closer to see what was going on and I noticed that there was a large amount of fishing line wrapped around his right fin. It looks like it's been there for so long that it's cutting into his skin and he can barely use his flipper anymore. It's technically illegal to touch sea turtles in Hawaii, but in this case, since I can see that he's in distress and I have the means to help him, I think it's okay to ignore nor that law. The only trouble is he doesn't know that I'm trying to help him. So he keeps on swimming away. Brittany and I were supposed to be getting out of the water and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, right, turtle. I went down to give it one more try to help my friend Timmy the turtle, but he was just squirming around too much and I couldn't get a solid grip. I have to be really careful because I don't want to hurt him any worse than he already is. Finally, I grabbed one of the loose lines and pulled him by it. And he was like, yeah, get out of me. You can really get a sense of the pain that he's going through looking at his fin with the line wrapped around it. It's really sad, but unfortunately I wasn't able to do anything to help this turtle today. I haven't been to the trash hole in a while, so I went to go check it out. First I found a cleaning wipe, then I found one of those flosser things, a piece of electrical tape, and what's left of a claw clip. Then I found one of those popping fidget toys. Are these fun? I don't really get it. And then a plastic bottle that took me like four tries to actually grab. I found a hair tie and a sticker with a cobra on the front. Then I found this piece of cloth that was really tattered, and a top of a soda can, and then a piece of aluminium that probably came came from the same soda can. Right nearby, I found one, two, and three hair ties, and then this piece of shoe rubber. So I discovered a large concentration of hair ties in the ocean near Hawaii. I already found like five in one spot, and then I found this plastic bottle, and another hair tie, and a pretty beat up sock. Then I found another plastic bottle, and even more socks, and the top of a soda can. Gosh, look at all this stuff. Then I found a tin can, and a big rag, and two scrunchies. What is wrong with these visco girls? Excuse me, is this another scrunchie wrapped around a sock? Then I found another sock and a golf bowl, a hair tie, a plastic bottle, a bodyboarding leash. Okay, if I see another sock, I think I'm gonna be sick. There is a lot more trash here and I'm gonna pick as much of it up as I can. If you wanna see the whole process, go to my YouTube channel. Okay, that's all the stuff. Bye.